Since 2017, Stella Liao has been going to the gym for mobility and strength training. The 64-year-old homemaker started exercising after finding out she has low bone density. She says the workouts and stretches help her move around at home. I used to have to crawl myself up, but now I can just stand right up after I squat down to pick up you know, something from the lower shelves in the kitchen. 79-year-old Richard was once described as a couch potato, but things changed after he got bitten by the exercise bug about six years ago. Having recently undergone knee replacement surgery, the retiree is looking forward to getting back to his old gym routine. I tell you what I don't want to achieve. I don't want to be the wheelchair. It's no fun for me, it's no fun for my caregiver. Both Richard and Stella are members of Aspire 55, a family-like club that encourages seniors to take on various activities and ditch the sedentary lifestyle. Functional training and strength training provided to them so that they can age well in good health to prevent falls and keep good balance. Many older people don't realise that they have mobility issues until we run some of the balance tests for them. The proportion of seniors has been growing rapidly over the years. In 2012, about 11% of Singapore citizens were 65 years and older. In less than two decades, that proportion is expected to more than double, to over 23% by 2030. As people grow older, they are at greater risk of injury from falls. According to the World Health Organization, adults older than age 60 suffer the greatest number of fatal falls. At the Rehabilitation Research Institute of Singapore, researchers have spent years developing a device that can detect and prevent a fall from happening. The idea started about 10 years ago when my mother fell. We're thinking of uh, when a parent helping a toddler to walk, so putting the hands around the toddler, and as much as possible, you allow the toddler to walk by himself or herself, and only intervene when you feel that the toddler is uh, losing balance. Taking the same concept, right? So we are trying to do this uh, to the elderly. The mobile robotic balance assistant called Mr. Ba is equipped with sensors and a safety harness worn on the user's hips. The device can aid rehabilitation from injuries and is designed for both institutional and home settings. It works exactly like any power chair that you purchase in the market. So, so the person uh, drives the wheelchair around. So when it's ready to get up, right, the robot will help you from sit to stand. And then the armrest that you see here, the armrest will become the arm that is around the waist. So as the person walks, then uh, the robot will walk behind you. As you, when you stop, the robot stops. When you turn, the robot turns behind you. There are currently three models of Mr. Ba that are catered to users varying weights and agility. The hardest part for us is the usability. Uh, what works for patients and uh, personalization is also a critical aspect that we're working on. Every disability is different and people use the robot in a different way. Researchers have done clinical trials with over 50 patients, doing basic tasks and even playing ball using Mr. Bar. But it may not be until 2024 that the device becomes available in the market. As it is a medical product, regulatory approval will be needed. We hope to start a company next year, so we are actively trying to do last mile engineering and we should uh, start to raise funds uh, Q1, Q2 next year. Bringing down the robot's production cost of 20,000 Singapore dollars will be crucial. When we do commercialize, um, if it's a hospital version with all the with all the analytics and all the sensors, uh, we expect it to cost about uh, twenty to thirty thousand. Uh, but for home use, we intend to have a smaller version uh, for 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 an urbanized society like Singapore, where the space is tighter. So that version we we expect it to be around four to five thousand Singapore Singapore dollars. 
Asia's silver economy is expected to be worth around 4.5 trillion US dollars by 2025. In Singapore, the market is estimated at over 70 billion US dollars. Businesses are banking on baby boomers with massive amounts of savings to spend on health and wellness, home care and travel. One of the biggest concerns of an ageing society is how can you enable older people to age well for as long as possible in their own homes, to be very active, to have purpose, to have activities and also to prevent institutionalisation too early. You want them to live a good life, you want them to live well, age well and hopefully the period that you decline is as short as possible. Technology helps not only physical but also mental health. Ask any person with disability what is the number one function they don't want to get back. Mobility always come up top. And not only the physical well-being, right? So if they can do things that they want, they can move around, the mental health also improve. As for 79-year-old Richard, despite retiring 22 years ago, he's still putting his best foot forward. I never retired. I changed all my four tyres. So I got four brand new tyres. So I'm prepared to run again anytime.